uh, as usual, I'm on my own in my email. And you guys are telling me, oh, tell your sister. Uh, thank you, thank you. You're telling me tell your sister to be able to go and file her taxes. I'm like, what is wrong with you guys, really? What is actually wrong with you guys on this Facebook? What is going on? Don't you realize that these people are trying so hard to get your attention and they're actually doing, they're actually, they're actually succeeding. Like, they're always coming up with different things, different lies every single time, just so they can keep the conversation, you know, going on, especially something negative towards my sister. So here I am looking at emails from people sending me stuff that, oh, tell your sister to pay taxes because pretty much everyone on Facebook is saying she's uh, evading taxes. And I'm like, do you realize that that is a crime that you're trying to accuse someone of? Thank you, Margaret Mensa. Do you realize that that is a crime? I'm tired of all this defamation, you know, going up and down. You know, she will never answer. However... I will answer because it's no more funny. It's no longer funny. It is defamation. Do you think that everybody is from a criminal background? Eh? Do you really think that everybody must come from a criminal background? Thank you, John Ford Kippins for 200 stuff. Must everybody come from a criminal background? Do you think that, oh, just because somebody is a criminal, everybody else must be a criminal. That accusation is so wrong, it is terrible, and it's not, it's, it's not funny, okay? You guys will go check, go give, call anybody, do anything, but man, that's a tax-paying citizen, okay? And you don't, you don't say that with people, that's not, it's not a funny thing to talk about. Not everybody must be a criminal. That's what I keep saying, it's not funny. Trying to accuse someone of something like that, this person has been, she's been paying her taxes since she started earning. Up until January this year. Okay, so please just stop that. Okay, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to see it anywhere. I need people to stop, stop giving attention to these people that are trying so hard to stay relevant. Because as you can see, you know that it's, he's becoming a joke. Everybody's already seeing him for who he is. It's becoming a joke and you guys keep indulging him and all the rubbish that he's doing. It's not funny anymore, okay? It's not funny. I'm going to address him directly. Please, use this time that you're using to come up with different things. Just the way you came up with the sex day rubbish. Use this time to actually try and clean up the mess that you put your family in on Facebook. Because now they are, they're actually seeing your family everywhere for, criminal, for, for the wrongest thing. And are you not even ashamed? Are you not even ashamed? Like even me, when I saw it, I was ashamed. Like, oh my God, this used to be my in-laws. Focus on clearing your family's name from this Facebook. Because now everybody's digging into you. Okay? Everybody's digging into your family. And what they're finding is not funny. You guys are well, you're looking for full custody everywhere. But now the criminal background of your family is everywhere. Thank you, Arike Onufumilayo. It's not funny anymore. And you don't project your criminality on someone else just because you come from a criminal, you know, family. That doesn't mean that somebody else will not be a criminal. We are accusing her of a crime. A tax evasion is a crime. And she has never evaded taxes. In fact, the taxes that she paid last year, all these illiterates that are talking, that are, their lives are owned by the government. You have, you've never paid taxes in your life, but you are opening your mouth to, 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 to threaten people about the IRS. I need you to call, and if you don't call the IRS, and if you don't get your facts straight, and if you don't come out to tell everybody that this girl is actually a taxpaying citizen, then you need to be shut up, because you're trying to defame her one more time, again, every single time. Eh? People need to stop. Like, a lot of people that are indulging them, anything they say, you just come outside and start analyzing. These people are, they are gone. They are wasted. They are waste men. And they just, they are looking for attention at this point. Eh? If you don't pay taxes, how are you going to get an apartment? Where's your credit? This girl's credit, her taxes from last year is more than everything these women have ever earned in their entire working life. Eh? And that you don't think it's okay to come online and just defame people, accuse them of crimes. That is a crime. And that is not acceptable. 
and then you people need to stop and even all these other presenters around my sister said you need to stop indulging them because you know what's going on now he's looking for attention he's trying so hard to get his children back to social media it's not working he's still lying though that he's the one that took them off in the first place however he's done and everybody's like you're now a joke you're now a joke please don't mm -mm. You're not a joke, and now the only thing you have left is to come up with different, different things every single day. Lying that oh, somebody is a big scientist. That's a crime. It's not funny. It's not funny anymore. You lied about sex tape, you didn't fly. Now you've got to go and give them another gist again about taxes. Do you think she's like you? She's not like you. She's not a criminal like you and your entire family. You need to leave her alone. You need to, you really need to leave her. It's not funny anymore. Like I said, I was disgusted. Like this thing, this thing, this, 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 this is not something to be joked about. Because of people like that, because of that, this is a crime. This is what people go and spend time in jail for. Okay? It's not something to be joked about. It's not something you will attach to anybody's name at all. Do not attach that to her name because if the taxes she paid last year is enough to actually feed all of you and your generation for at least 10 years. Some of you don't earn 40,000, they don't earn 40k in a year, and it's at least times 10. So she can feed you and your generation for, for at least 10 years with the taxes that she paid last year. It's not funny. Please stop it, it's not funny. At all. Because that's a crime you're trying to accuse someone of. Okay, I went into my email and I was so disgusted, like, okay, what is this new one again? If we started with sex tape, it didn't fly, now you started this one again. Are you not tired of defaming her? She has written her truth. Whether you like it or not, that's her truth. Okay? It's not funny. Huh. I saw this one. I said, now, wow, is this, one, is this the new thing now? Okay, so you get these illiterates now to, to talk about taxes. When they've, not, they've, they've never paid taxes, they're like, these people are owned by their governments. They've never paid taxes, but then they have the guts to ask, uh, uh, start threatening people online about taxes. Like, what, what in the world is that? What does that even mean? If you're an analyzer and do not like even give that a meaning of day, okay? Anybody can verify records, can go verify and see that she's a tax paying citizen. That is a tax paying citizen. Today is a very chill day. I came to talk about like two things. Guys, what is all this you people are sending me? Eh? That's why I came live today. What is all this you people are sending me about IRS? What is going on? We're talking about all the rubbish going on.